Hey guys, it's Paul Welford speaking. Um, I've been asked to make this video on how to get Kodi onto your non-jailbroken device. Um, if you bear with me, it's my first ever video at doing it, so I'm a bit nervous. Okay, um, so what you're going to need is these three things I've got in the middle of my desktop. You need iOS App Signer, which is obviously once you unzip it, it becomes this. And you need a Kodi. Um, I'll put the links in the description for all of the items you're going to need. As well as you're going to need um, Xcode. If you know Xcode, Xcode is um, a developer account that you can get for free from apple.com. Um, so you need to sign up for those and then let's get started. So, first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to open Xcode. That's the first step we're going to do. The reason I've got my iTunes open is just to show you that I'm on 9.3, so there's no funny business going on. And I've got my iPhone 6S, so you know that can't be jailbroken, yeah? Um, okay, so when Xcode opens, what you need to do is you need to create a new Xcode project. Once you click on that, you get another screen. And um, you need to make sure it's on application, single view application, and then click on next. That's the first step. Product name, so call it something that you can remember. So I'm going to call this one iPhone 6S, um, 6S Cody. Yeah, just simple like that. iPhone 6S Cody. This should all be filled out for you as well. Do not touch any of this, it's already in place. Once you've filled this out, you click on next. And then it says here, create a um, Git repository on the Mac. So yeah, just click create, don't touch anything else. Just fine. <coughs> and then you cut this. And this is the bit where you might um, falter on if it doesn't work. You get this little bit at the bottom here, it says fix issue. If that comes up, what you need to do is choose your team, which is gonna be your login for your Xcode, and then click on fix issue. This should resolve any issues you're gonna have. If you can get past this hurdle, it's kind of plain sailing from here. It should be fixing, there we go. Once this is gone, what we need to do, you click on product, uh, destination, and we click on iPhone. That's what I'm sending it to, my iPhone. That's the first stage and the hardest one to probably get out of the way. Once that's out of the way, what we're going to do is um, minimize this or, you know, be easy to minimize it. I just on the right hand side, it's got my picture of my actual um, iPhone. Code is already on there, so I'm going to show you by deleting it, just so I can show you how to put it back on again. Voila, it's gone. As you can see, there's no CDR, no funny business. Just to make just to make sure that you think I'm not lying. Settings, in general, about, and as you can see, 9.3. Yeah, so definitely no funny business going on. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to open App Signer. Oops, I've actually opened up all three. Ignore that. There we go. There you go. Then you're going to get this screen up. Minimize that. Obviously, there's too much going on. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to browse for our Kodi, which you're going to download from the description below, yeah? Once you browse, open, click on Kodi. Open the latest one will be I can't remember the latest one. This one's fifteen point two at the time of filming, probably later. But once you're in the description, click on that and you can actually download it. Um, the latest one from there. Provisional sign resign. You need to change that to what we just made. That's what I called it. iPhone six S Cody. Yeah, that's the one I actually changed it to. Once you click on that, you're going to click start. Now this is the waiting game. Make sure you um, put it on your desktop so it's easy to find. And just give it a while. It does take a little while to go through. Once this actually unpacks and puts all the data on, we'll wait for it to go into our desktop and then we'll go back into Xcode. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, if you've got any questions, please leave them below. This is my first ever video, so if it's not very clear of what I've said, please leave some comments so I can actually get back to you as, pack, um, as soon as I can. As I said, this is a requested video by two people, so here it is. Okay. 
it's done, it says there. So that means, aha, it's over here. There we go, so it should give you the IPA file, which you can actually install um, via Xcode straight onto the device. So we don't need that anymore, so minimize it or exit it. Bring back up Xcode. And now, make sure it's on desktop, yep. You click on Window, Devices, and then you're gonna click on iPhone. Yeah? Then, what we're gonna do, down the bottom here, it's got one actually a plus. Yeah? Click on the plus, find the code that you've actually just done, the IPA file, click Open, and now, it's just busy installing it onto our device. So what should happen here, it should eventually, once I unlock this device, it should come with a spare space. It most probably will go here, actually. Just give it a while. There it is. Code it. So once you open it, obviously it's going to be, because it's iOS 9, you need to manually trust it. So click on cancel. Go to settings. Go to, where's it gone? Right at the bottom. Profiles, device management, or it should say profiles or device management if you're lower than 9.3. Click on that. You find the actual application, which we called it, I think it's developers at the bottom. It says trust. Click on trust. Trust again. Now, once you go back into the app itself, click on Cody. Voila. We have Cody. In general, so obviously the appearance is not the same. So I'll we'll put it to Confluence, Settings, Skin, Confluence. And there we go. You have Kodi on a non-jailbroken device. If you want to know any of any sources, I've got all the sources that you need to import to get um, football, um, films. Leave a comment down below and I'll do another video, a second ever video, on how to install repositories for Kodi. Okay, thanks for uh, watching this. Hope it went okay.